All right, guys, what we got here is a skeleton. Now, we're going to take him apart, especially this area. I need this area. Here's what we got guys. So now, what we're gonna do is we need to mount this to the dead sled. And I want to, it, I want it holding a candle somehow or another. So I gotta figure out the position that I want it to hold the candle. I'd like to have it up like that. Maybe something like that. So these two fingers would be down holding this, this would be up and this would be around it. So with that being said, we will need to bend these fingers. And guys, this stuff gets hot. It's real easy, it's real brittle. If you ain't careful, you can snap these off. My suggestion is whenever you heat these up to bend them, you wanna cool them down immediately so they don't spring back have you a paper towel and wrap it in cold water and that'll keep it at its at its spot so let's give this a try no guarantees i've never done it before but we're going to give it a shot then we need to find out something to mount this to the hearse so let's try that all right so here's what we got this is obviously this hand here so your left hand you want it to hold like that so that's kind of position that we're going to try to go for so you want to do your last two fingers coming around on the side so let's let's try to bend these two around no guarantees
Okay. So there we go. So this should be about right. And uh, we'll hot melt glue that sucker on there. So let's get uh, the glue guns, the glue gun and get it heated up and we glue it on there. <clears throat> There's that. So while this is warming up, we'll work on the other one. But see guys, here's what I'm talking about. It should look something like that. You don't have to be perfect like that. But uh, we need to figure out how to station this too, where it's not gonna be crazy all the time. I don't know if we can hop up with it or not. I think we can fill that in. It's right like that. So, that's decorative, it's nice. We're gonna cut that sucker off if I can get this screw out of here. And uh, what we'll do is uh, <clears throat> we'll actually whittle this out to where I might have to cut these bones straight where I can get these bones to sit inside and uh, be able to hold that. So let's uh, cut this sucker off. about what we got I need to sand that a little bit where I cut it crooked but eh, it's not a big deal So what I did is I finagled some holes in here. Let me dump all that stuff out of there. So uh, finagled some holes because I didn't have an exact bit I needed. But this fits in there pretty doggone good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hot, hot melt glue that sucker. Hopefully. Yep, she's hot. Now you can probably use epoxy or whatever it is you got. You don't have to use hot milk glue. But I happen to have it, so we're gonna we're just gonna fill this hole full. And we're gonna stick him right in there. And we'll put some glue around it. To help hold it in. I'm gonna take a few minutes for it to dry because there's a lot of glue. So now we need to figure out how we're gonna position his hands and hot melt glue that. So okay. 
kill. And once all this dries, guys, we'll turn it over and we'll do some more gluing on it. Standing up a little bit. Ouch. Ouch, it's hot. Remember, hot metal glue is hot. Okay, so I have nothing to hold that up with. I'm no, just trying to hold it in position to. There we go. So hopefully that, <laughs> well that's not gonna work. Anyway. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Cause it's gonna take me a minute or two to, to let this dry anyway. That looks pretty doggone close. All right, guys, we'll let that set up a little bit and uh, we'll take it out and glue the other side just so it has a good barrier on it and glue the candlesticks in it. Okay, now that all this is set up pretty much, it's looking good. We'll go through and we'll put some uh, glue on this uh, candlestick. Just to hold them in his hand. Something about like that. And underneath. Just do the best you can, guys. It don't have to be perfect. So there. And we'll put some. Basically, all you're doing is welding with glue, I think. It just takes a little longer to dry. Put a little bit there in his hand so it won't slide down. Clean the snots off, we'll let that dry, and we'll paint this black, and we'll dry brush it uh, copper. We might copper his uh, hand too. So there we go, guys. We got a skeleton arm up here. <laughs> Ain't too far. Well, I can't see it. Anyway, there we go. Clean all the cobwebs off of it. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll paint this. I don't know what the best way to get to it, but we'll go in and we'll paint that thing. And we'll dry brush some copper on there. Okay. Let's paint it black. Now while this paint's drying, we'll do the other one. Then we'll, once this is dry, we'll come back and uh, do it again. There. Once it dries, we'll come back and put the copper highlights in it.
hope you can see me. Okay, here we go. So there we go. And like I said, we'll come once this dries, it won't take long for it to dry. It'll probably dry by the time we do the other hand. And we'll come back and we'll do some uh, some coppering on it. But there you go, guys. Let's do the next one. Okay. Paint out of the way. So what? So what I got is I got these things at Home Depot, and I'm just cutting this off and using this because uh, I'm not going to use this anywhere else. I might use that part somewhere eventually. But yeah, let's take it off here. And these just screw right on now. down in it and we'll cut this bad boy off cut off as clean as possible that one actually looks pretty good so this is the hardest part guys is trying to figure out if I had the right size bit which I don't so we're just going to wing it I went down probably a half an inch in that wood Cause all I'm trying to do is get the bones in there. That we cut off of these. So you'll have to trim these down a little bit. Which is not, not, not a big deal. Deeper, a little deeper. Uh, just be careful that you, when you do that, you don't go all the way through it. But if you do, you can work around it. Just put more glue in it. All right. All right, so let me cut a little bit of this off. It's not so prominent. Got here. Probably need to cut some of that off. All 
Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. She's in there. Okay. Now we'll put some uh, hot melt glue in there. Same way with this one. Actually, we should bend the candles before we do all that and break, break it up. So let's come over here. Mushed up around again. Alrighty, so we're gonna put this candle in this hand. So we want these two fingers up there. Want this one wrapped around. So let's wrap this one around. Help if I plug it in. see it it's just gonna be behind because you're gonna be looking at it from this angle so now let's put this in here so now let's put uh, put the glue in here with our skeleton hand and we'll get it going on hope I got enough glue about two sticks. So I'm doing is filling up this whole glue and sticking my hand in there. Uh, there we go. And if I got excess, we'll just clean it off. Looks like we got a lot coming out there. So I can go around to here. Put it back in there. Help it hold it in there. Okay. And now we'll glue this. So it'll stay where it's at.
right guys, so what we're going to do now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take these legs off these bones. I mean, this whole skeleton, you can take apart and use it some way or another. It don't always have to be put together and hung up somewhere. You can do whatever. As I'm about to show you. So don't never throw none of your, your skeleton parts away because you can use them in different ways. So you can always use, you can cut that little sniblet off and you can use the foot and, the, and this bone or you can just take the foot off and use the foot or just use that bone. But we're not using it right yet. These are the two femur bones that I'm looking at that I want. And we're going to take them off here. Like I said, I've never done this before. We're going to try it. Wrench on that, or losing stuff here. In this case, we're gonna use needle nose. That's a perfect femur bone. Is that femur? Eh, yep, yeah, it's a femur bone. Anyway, let's get to the other side. have the upper torso and we can still use this somehow we can still use these bones rib cage pelvis spine so what I'm thinking about doing here is making me a set of crossbones not recording anyway guys what I did is I did a half a section here is I have my bones and you can see how much higher than the other one is than the other one so to accommodate that I'm going to cut part of this one out and part of this one out so they'll fit together a little bit more flush so they don't look so harsh Be careful on this, you don't want to cut that bone in half. Probably something like that. So now the pain's taken. It's cutting out. <clears throat> it's actually cutting pretty good. Okay. So that's what you're doing is you're cutting a section out of it. And that way. When we put our bones together, it'll be something like that. So we'll go ahead and cut uh, a section out of this. Let me mark that again in case I didn't get it the first time. So 
about something like that. Now, <clears throat> now we got them setting pretty much, well, there we go. Now we got them in there. So now what you can do is you can fill this with some kind of a putty or an RK's hot mount glue. And I just, oh, let's do it, okay. So let's put some hot mount glue in there. And that fits a lot flusher to the what we're looking at. Let me plug this thing back up. Because we can go back and we can paint inside that. Okay, I'm going to let that, let that heat up. All right, guys. So, the reason I made these is for my dead sled. And they're going to set about right in here, something like that. Let me see. About like that. Let me see if I got a good measurement on that or not. Looks like a good measurement. And let's already already pre-drilled the hole. So let's put a screw in it. Okay, there we go guys. So now what we'll do is I'll get some copper and we'll copper these things here. We'll put a little copper on this, you know, this uh, paint or something like that. You can put brown, black, or just anything to cover up that uh, hot melt glue. fingers candlestick just, just whatever you want to do it's unlimited to what you want to do I'll just put a little bit on the bone there all right let's do the other side I don't know how well you can see that through that. You need to get a, a screen so you can, uh, I can do close-ups. Or a lens, I meant. So, that copper just kind of breaks up that blue. Doesn't make it look so harsh. And you don't need a lot. Just put it on there every now and then. There you go. So there we go, guys. That's what I made. Is I made uh, two skeleton hands holding a candle to put on a dead sled. Uh, hot glued everything together, as you saw. Out of a piece of wood. And I screwed it onto the dead sled. And I hot melted glued hot glued that light to the skull hand 
and along with this one. Now this one is a little curved down more than the other one, but I think it'll be fine. And there it is, guys. There's our skeleton hands on our dead sled. That was what I was doing with the skeleton with no head. And the corpse, well, that's still to come. I did put him back here. He is back here. Well, let me turn the light on so you can see. So there's the corpse, Mr. Rotten Corpse. I just put him out here for, for the time being. Uh, what I'm going to do with him is I'm building a mausoleum and he's going to be in one of the mausoleums. Uh, he will be in one of the mausoleums. Let me get you a good look at him there. Okay, so, oh yeah, let me show you this too, guys. Uh, there's two bones I was putting together. Um, well, I'm, I'm gonna stain these, but you can put these things anywhere. You can even put them on your seat if you want to. You can put it like that. And I'm gonna stain these I might even, nah, I might not stain those. But uh, I'm gonna stain these with some uh, dark walnut. You can also uh, put them back here with uh, this, this, whoops. I gotta hold it up there. You can even put it back here with this skull. Or you can just not put it nowhere and use it on your next build. Um, I was just showing you how to cut it and put it together where it's a little flatter and it's easier to handle that way. So, there's that. Well, there you go guys. There's the end of the video. So, I hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Give me a thumbs up and that lets YouTube know that I'm an alright guy and that you enjoy watching my stuff. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next bill. And always remember, it never has to be perfect. Just build it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next bill.